day for the Bitcoin price. Yesterday I told you a big move for Bitcoin and Ethereum is imminent. And I can tell you something, this move already started. In today's episode, I wanna talk about whether I am going to open a new trade on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Where am I going to open it? Whether we are going to the 61,000 US dollar levels I was actually talking about earlier, or whether we are getting a surprising rejection towards the downside. I wanna be talking about all of that. I will give you my entry prices, my exit prices, and much, much more. Make sure you watch this video until the very end. You give me this feedback here on this video once again, and you smash up the freaking like button to an all-time high. Today is Valentine's Day. It's the day of love, so let's spread love here. Leave your favorite icons in the comment section down below, and now I wanna get straight into the content, guys. And by the way, if you wanna be trading the upcoming volatility, I have in the pinned comment down below, 1,180 US dollars in free bonuses. Whether you used our links in the, um, in the past or whether you didn't use it and you are going to click it right now as an experienced trader, you will always be eligible for the highest bonuses right now in the pinned comment down below as an experienced trader. Let me start with the Bitcoin price and see what is actually happening for Bitcoin right now here. So what we can see is, then this is actually a pattern I was not talking about earlier, but now I am talking about it since with the last rejection here in the last night, we are forming now the third touch point. And this third touch point is right now legitimizing this rising wedge. And now we are having a pattern within a bigger pattern. This gives us a very nice opportunity actually of an up and coming trade. Well, whether you traded this bull flag to the upside, you are profitable right now. Congratulations for everyone who took the trade here so far but if you are standing on the sidelines well the next trade is literally imminent and with three touch points on the upside even more three four touch points on the downside we know right now this breakout is actually imminent and the question right now is of course are we going to break towards the upside or to the downside technically this rising wedge where is it? Um, technically, this rising wedge should break out more often to the uh, downside than to the upside since it, is a, since it is a bearish pattern. But guys, this is Bitcoin. Zooming out, you can see multiple yeah, falling wedges, rising wedges for, um, breaking to the, upside, to the upside besides this exception here, which broke to the downside. But if I'm just going a little bit more further left, when we are in an established uptrend, these ones like to break out towards the upside as well. So technically the likelihood is higher to break towards the downside, but we are just waiting for the breakout. And I can tell you, looking at considering that we are talking about bitcoin here the breakout towards the upside seems to be the like the more likely scenario actually to be honest so the breakout target here would be actually if you take it from the top to the bottom and this guys i kid you not once again we are meeting the same level again we are seeing the same amount of confluence coming here once again 54 55 000 us dollars all price targets recently are pointing towards the same target area of 54 to 55 000 us dollars if we are getting the breakout i will be longing bitcoin if we are getting a decisive breakout above a rejection down a bounce at the previous support which is then as resistance which is then turning into support and then we are when we are breaking above the previous rejection point this is is the moment i'm gonna be opening a new trade i will be talking about my existing trades as well and i will be closing it among the um yeah 54 000 us dollar levels or maybe take at least some profits here quick let me quickly go over you see it's like beyond a mess in this room very very nice view but um, of course i want to talk about a little bit more about bitcoin also whether the 61,000 us dollar level is actually an imminent price target how i am actually quoting that why am i pulling out this um 61 000 us dollar level and from where do i pull it out here i want to talk about ethereum as well and about my trades so let me go here straight back into the charts and tell you exactly um yeah what i am looking out for for bitcoin by the way guys once again in the pinned comment down below take advantage of this offer you support us and you support yourself with claiming the bonus in the pinned comment here for your next up and coming trade so let me go here over to the weekly candles and you might say well why the weekly candles chris are you crazy like what well, you, you didn't talk about the weekly candles for quite some time well i have to show you something guys because a little bit windy here if i am actually pulling out the bitcoin logarithmic growth curves and then i'm zooming out then you can see something interesting for bitcoin because right now we are fighting here with the 61.8 um, fibonacci retracement level within that logarithmic growth channel and for everyone who's new to the channel just to zoom out here you can see that bitcoin was perfectly 
perfectly respecting the up and bottom uh, the, the upper line and the bottom line which are the perfect fits but also the fibonacci retracement levels the logarithmic fibonacci retracement levels within that upwards movement and this 61.8 where we are at right now is of course a very important one if we are getting rejection here well this might last maybe for a few days or weeks but if we are breaking through if we are breaking through this is the 61.8 let me show it to you right here this is the 61.8 line if we are decisively breaking through closing this week i mean guys this week is just about to close closing this week above then the next one will be right here at this 61,000 Fibonacci uh, retracement level, which is, by the way, the, uh, the 71.4 Fibonacci retracement level, 61,000 US dollars. And guys, you know the deal. Let me quickly um, flip the camera. You know the deal. The 61,000 US dollar level was also the Fibonacci extension level from the top to the bottom. So whenever we are seeing this significant amount of confluence coming together, at least we can say a high degree of certainty lays in that price level. So this is actually what I am looking out for if we are getting this breakout towards the upside. I will be talking about Ethereum as well. But guys, but we don't want to leave this bearish scenario on the sidelines only because it is the um, yeah, less likely scenario. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't be focusing on that. Let me quickly go back here on that. So what we see here is this um, rising wedge. And well, we can still break to the downside, obviously, guys. It's less likely. But um, if you are a two-dimensional trader, if you're trading long and short, well, this is still a good opportunity for you. I would be personally standing on the sidelines. But if we are breaking down, you can see we are perfectly getting here to my horizontal yellow line, to the previous all-time high. We actually failed to break for such a long time, the 42,000 US dollar level. This is actually... In case we are getting this unlikely breakout my next support level my next level where i am saying with a high degree of confidence we are with a high degree of certainty we are getting um yeah significant support coming in over here and of course guys i am i mean i am not let me quickly go back I am not letting you hanging. I know that many of you guys are involved in Ethereum and you want to be talking about Ethereum as well. You want to know, are we breaking this 2000 US dollar level finally or are we going to go here to a rejection down? Well, <clears throat> I want to talk about that. It's getting very windy. I, ho I hope you are not hearing that. And I will be talking quickly about Ethereum before I go into my trades, to my specific trades and also where I would be opening my next trades for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And look at this for Ethereum. The exact same pattern like for Bitcoin is actually forming. Right now we are looking here on the hourly candles on a rising wedge for Ethereum. Also a bearishly biased pattern right now touching support here. And I want to tell you, maybe... This will be a, a harbinger of what's going to come for Bitcoin. If we are getting a bounce here on the upward sloping support of Ethereum, well, we might be breaking the pattern on Bitcoin. If we are breaking this to the downside, it might be a harbinger for Bitcoin breaking it to the downside as well. So far, so good. Let's watch Ethereum. And the question here right now is, of course, if we were to break out and if we were to break down, what are the price targets I am personally looking at right now? Well, for Ethereum, my price target would be among the 2,000, you see it on the top right side, 2,050 US dollar levels. If we were to break down, let me pull that to the downside. Well, once again, we would get support here um, at the at the low of the of the falling wedge, which is the technical price target of this breakdown. If we were to break down, you know that I am actually currently. Let me quickly go back. Let me go back. I am currently in one Ethereum trade and five Bitcoin trades, believe it or not. You know that we as a community, actually as the most profitable community in the freaking crypto world, we have the proof here. It is in the charts, it is on our channel, and we have it in the comment section with people in dozens and hundreds and thousands actually thanking us for these um, yeah, massive trading setups. And I will talk about the next one as well. First of all, I want to go here straight. You see how windy it is, crazy. I hope the vibe is coming to you. I'm here directly in the jungle on the beach front and the wind is blowing into the camera. I hope you can feel the vibe here on Valentine's Day. Let me quickly go over to, um, by the way, guys, look at this here. I was predicting the all-time high for Bitcoin in August. And look at this on the downside here. One million views. My all-time high prediction when Bitcoin was still at 10,000 US dollars. No one believed me. I told you until the end of the year, we are going to see it. And well, we saw it. We even overshot a little bit in December, 2020. Anyway, anyway, let me go here quickly 
Hello, <laughs> let me go quickly over to my trades. So you can see here, this is my trade over on Femex. It is right now actually 1.5 million US dollars in a profit. I am keeping this one open. I do put my money where my mouth is until we are reaching the 54,000 US dollar level. I will take profits over there and I will take my next profits at the 61,000 US dollar levels for sure. But many people are asking me about Ethereum. What is happening with Ethereum right now? I am going quickly over to Ethereum. This is my Ethereum trade. You can see it here over on Bybit an isolated 15x trade here on ethereum i opened at 1700 us dollars i was announcing it over on twitter and on youtube it is right now 135 percent in a profit i am keeping this one also open if we are breaking into the downside the pattern i will take some profits let me go over quickly back to the chart back to the face um <clears throat> come on baby where are you there so if we are breaking it actually due to the downside of course i am going to take some profits over there already every single cent matters here because we are trading ethereum and bitcoin settled futures when we are taking uh, profits we are taking them in bitcoin and in ethereum so never be lazy to take profits it's never a mistake anyway if we are breaking it towards the upside i am going to take my first profit slightly below the 2000 uh, us dollar level and the next one at the 2050 us dollar levels but guys my next trade on bitcoin and ethereum will both be the breakouts if we are breaking the resistance to towards the upside of the rising wedge on Bitcoin, of the rising wedge on Ethereum. I am going to enter a long trade. Once we are getting a four hourly candle close above, a rejection down, a confirmation of the previous res resistance, which is then turning into support, and then uh, um, volume supported bounce above the previous rejection point. This is where I'm going to close it, and you already know where I'm going to uh, open it, and you already know where I'm going to close these levels. Well, guys, as an ending word here, I wanted to tell you, if you have a significant other, make sure you buy her some flowers if you are a girl make sure you buy i don't know you make a dessert for your for your man or so spread love guys whether you have a significant other or not i think um I have this one picture i would love to include it here um if you are fearful actually your aura is very very close but if you spread love you have a huge aura and you can actually use it as multiplier to add value to the whole uh, mankind of course so i want to just tell you spread love be loving um try to add value help other people and um yeah if i did something good for today i maybe inspired five people to um yeah to go to your next door neighbor and say something nice to them that would be of course something good for today thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching until the very end for smashing up the like button towards a new all-time high for leaving your thoughts and your uh, favorite altcoins in the comment section down below and of course guys for spreading the love for sharing the video with your friends thank you so much for watching and we will see you the version at the next one of Amazon crypto as always guys as always Bye-bye. <laughs>